Hey guys, so it's been a while. I know, I feel like I say that every time, but honestly, I've gone through a lot of life changes. So for this video, I kind of just wanted to just really quickly what's been going on, and then I wanted to show you kind of my new setup, which is pretty nice. It's still a work in progress, but honestly, this is like 95% done. So thought I'd show you it now. Uh, but yeah, essentially, um, I grew up in Texas. I've been in Texas all my life. I have since moved to California, which is just awesome. I love the weather here. And with that is due to work. So as you guys know, YouTube is not my job. It is always and has been a hobby and will continue to be a hobby. Um, and yeah, so I came here for work. I thought, you know, why not? And yeah, that's pretty much the short version. And then in terms of my new setup, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys what that's all about. So yeah, this is my brand new setup and it, uh, so yeah, this is my brand new setup and I'm not gonna lie, it is freaking awesome. It's basically everything I've kind of wanted and kind of worked for the past few years. So um, I'll have everything linked down in the description for kind of everything I talk about versus maybe I missed something. But um, first of all, I wanna give a huge shout out to Ramsey's on Reddit, um, him and the company FlexiSpot, just absolutely awesome. They sent me over this desk. It is the best desk I have just ever had, honestly. It is just massive. This is a 79 inch by 35 inch width, I think. So it is pretty massive. Um, this is a bamboo um, tabletop, which is just so nice. Like it's so much better than my old one. The old one was, I had like lights from a different company and then I had an Ikea desk or Ikea desktop. This one is strictly all flexi spot. The legs, which are so, so fast. Now it is a standing desk, so I can change it, you know, lower or higher, um, as well as it's like the most durable in terms of like wobbliness. And yeah, it's just awesome. And it's just, it fits everything just perfectly. So huge shout out to them. I'll leave the link down in the description if you guys want to check it out and kind of customize your own desk. But yeah, this was kind of a massive one. So this is the E7Q desk. It's a pretty high end. And then bamboo, dark bamboo tabletop, 79 inch by 35 inch. So pretty nuts. Um, so there's that. So let's go ahead and start off with the chair. This is a Hayworth Fern chair. I thought about a long time on kind of what chair I wanted. Um, shout out to Ursula over at Hayworth. <laughs> she kind of helped me um, in one of the showrooms to kind of pick the chair I wanted. So this is what I ended up getting. Um, this is like uh, a knit version. They do have a mesh, but I decided to go with the knits. It's just so much more comfortable and super, super nice. Um, don't really need to show my bed, but you know, I've made it. Cause I know you guys are always like, oh, make your bed, Lego. Um, little desk I got, uh, I did end up uh, getting also some cool lights. So that is from Govi. Um, very awesome kind of desk lamp. And yeah, that's that. Um, so we'll kind of work our way to the left side here. So um, microphone wise, this is the Beacon microphone. Um, they sent this to me a while back. Love those guys. Um, super awesome microphone quality. And it also, they also had this kind of mic uh, kind of studio that can control like all audio on various applications that you can set it to. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. I do have it on the Elgato mic arm. This is the best mic arm I've honestly tried and had over the years. So there's that. Um, that's my Apple Watch. I did recently get the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. I had a 13 Pro Max, so I thought, I think three, four years is a pretty good jump. So this is actually what I'm recording on right now. So I'm hoping the 
quality is really, really good. I did also get the AirPods 4 because mine were broken. So that's that. This is my old 13 Pro Max actually that I need to trade into my carrier to get like that trade in credit. So it's do that. MacBook Pro um, that I used for work, but now I have a work computer. So it's kind of just my personal computer now. Um, this is what I use to record my iPad. So it's a really awesome kind of USB and like HDMI hub. Basically, I can put Ethernet if I want to. I haven't put it yet, but HDMI cable while charging goes to my iPad Pro M4, um, and that goes directly to my computer via, where is it? There it is. This is an Asus um, 4K Pro. This is the best capture for mobile products that I've ever used. I've tried Elgato. I'm sorry, Elgato. Your stuff just does not work for mobile. There's always like hitches or audio issues or something. This thing just has never given me problems. So this thing can record 1440, uh, 120, but I do 1440, 60. It could also do, I believe, 4K 60 as well. But um, I kind of stick with 1440, it's kind of all I need. So 1440, 60 FPS, looks great. All right. What's next? Monitor. This is a BenQ monitor. I love BenQ. They just have really bright monitors. Um, I do play PC games. As you guys see with my PC, it's pretty nuts I built. Um, I do play PC games, but just not on my channel. I just think I started my YouTube channel on mobile games, and I'm going to stick to it because mixing just does not work for PC and mobile. It just doesn't work. But more mobile games are coming. COD Mobile I play, Warzone Mobile I will not play because Warzone Mobile is doo-doo. I am sorry, but that is just my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, sticking with COD Mobile. And then there are other games coming out too, like Valorant Mobile. Um, Battlefield Mobile apparently was canceled. So we'll kind of see how that goes. But that's a yeah, BenQ, honestly love it. OLED monitor, I don't really need. Plus they're really dim. I need like a really bright monitor. So this one has been great. Um, again, this is the beacon thing. I can control kind of different mixes, different applications. Um, these are my finger sleeves I got, I believe on Amazon. So super, super nice. Honestly, I don't, don't really see like differences in them, but this one just was white and looked nice. So, uh, mouse wise, this is the, uh, Razer V3 Pro. I'm waiting for the mini cause this one's freaking big. Um, that's apparently coming soon, I think. So there's that. Keyboard wise, this is pretty nuts. This is a Wooting 60HE, very awesome. It's got in a custom kind of aluminum casing that they have in blue. You guys know if your favorite color is blue. So that's that. Um, really quick, this thing is just to hold my phone. Why not? Um, and then this is just kind of a fidget toy with a, a broken switch from one of my keyboards. So I use that. Uh, moving over to the right, in terms of camera, I have a tripod and I use that with an Insta360 um, Live, I believe is what this one is. It's on a gimbal. It is like such good quality. I can't remember the, I think it's like 4K60, but it is super, super nice. Um, it's on a gimbal so you can change it just however you want um, to kind of move it however you want. You can even let it follow you if you want it, you know, while you're moving, but I don't really move much while I'm sitting, so. There's that. Um, before we get to my computer, this is a power supply. So if the power for some reason goes out, this has like battery um, capability to kind of keep things alive and so I can safely shut down things. So in case there's like an electric outage, I really needed this in Texas because hurricanes are a freaking pain and it just always shut off things like, and it could mess your things up. Anyways, so that's that. In terms of computer, I actually recently rebuilt this. So this used to be in a white case, and now it's in a black Lee and Lee case. I set everything to blue. <laughs> but um, yeah, I believe I have a CPU. It is a 7900X3D, if I'm not mistaken, I think so. Um, 7900XTX graphics card. Um, I have like 96 gigs of RAM because I always have a bunch of tabs on, you know, Chrome or Firefox or whatever. Um, Lee and Lee fans, just super nice, um, PC. So no problems with that. Um, aside from that, I, that's pretty much it. You guys saw my iPad. This is M4 iPad. I love this thing. Um, case wise, I actually don't know. I'll have to put in the, um, description what that is. I don't really remember what it was, but I'm going to tell this right now to case manufacturers. There, there is a demographic for just gamers. 
we don't need this. this. This is for the pen. We don't need this. Give us an option that doesn't have this because it's not like annoying, but it's just like, why? It's just like extra space here, which I don't know. Like, I don't use a pen. Why, why do I need this? But there's like no other option that also stands like this. I need it to stand like this because I don't hold my iPad up. I just hold it like this. And it's on my desk. I'm not like holding it up, causing a strain. Like, come on, get rid of this. If anyone wants to work with me, please contact me. We'll work on like a case or something. I don't know. There's that. Um, and then mouse pad, I have a Saturn Pro mouse pad. I actually recently got this really nice mouse pad. It's really thin, very soft. Um, but yeah, I like it. Um, headset, this is a Philips X2 HR, I believe is what it's called. Uh, what is that? Yeah, X2 HR. Really like this. Um, they, I know they came out with an X3. I don't actually really like that one. So I returned it and just started using my X2 again. No problems really with that. So that's kind of that. Uh, and that's pretty much my setup. I do have an air purifier. Um, and then the other side, a little fan because there is no fan or light in here, which is weird in this complex, but I'm in a one bedroom, one bath. And it's just, it's weird how there's no, there, there's a switch there, but that switch doesn't control anything. So uh, I don't know. But yeah, so I ended up getting this Gogi uh, Pro Lamp, I think is that one, is that one? I'll have to put it in the description. But yeah, this one's super bright. I can change the colors as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This, you know, setup, again, years in the making. It is just super, super great. I'm so happy. I'm gonna get back into content now, work on some videos. Um, some new games are coming in, I know, like Valorant Mobile is coming out soon. And I'm sure there's, you know, Awesome stuff coming coming about soon. COD Mobile has got a bunch of updates that I've kind of missed on, so I'll be working on that. But yeah, that's kind of what I have been up to for kind of my life. Um, but yeah, just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of just what I've been up to. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to get back into the grind, so I will catch you guys in the next one.